conservative media peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, and I have another amazing science story to unleash on you dudes. And this is incredible, dude. I am so excited about this one. This could be a really big deal. Aero Golf has paid us to sponsor our new videos like this one for the month of August 2011 and for the set of videos we shot with them about their product. But I also have to tell you, this is my actual personal opinion about Aero Golf and their product, Aero Caddy. I also need to tell you that Cedar Joiner of Aero Golf is my cousin. She also gave me a free Aero Caddy, probably to demo for the video, stuff like that, but I also thought it's really cool too. But now, here's the thing. If you haven't checked out our videos with Aero Golf, I think you should check them out. To me, I think they're pretty cool. Now, I'm not the biggest golfer in the world, but to me, again, not being the biggest golfer and just my own personal opinion, this looks like a really cool product. And I think for $20, it is like a no-brainer to maybe try out for yourself and or give it as a stocking stuff or something like that. And you want to see what's going on with that. Oh, I also have to say all this is all personal opinion only. We're not alleging facts and not casting aspersions. All for entertainment parody purpose only. Check all the disclaimers, including in the description. Now, here's the deal. Apparently... There is a uh, a bunch of scientists that may, and I say may, but we'll get that in a second, that may have discovered a, a fossilized remains, basically, of really small organisms that perhaps might be 3.4 billion, not million, billion with the B, years old. That would make it the oldest known fossils on this planet. Now, here's the other thing that's exciting about this, that's really intense. If this is true, now here's why, one of the reasons why we say, you know, if this is true and everything like that, of course, we have disclaimers and disclosures and everything, you know, check those out. But more importantly, when you have organisms that are this small, it's difficult to really be sure are they actually, you know, organic or are they, you know, perhaps minerals or other structure, whatever like that? There's a lot of questions that would surround it. But there does seem to be some reason to believe that these were indeed organic. If they were at that time frame, apparently there wasn't even oxygen around here on this planet. What that means, that there, that there was methane, what that means, simply put, is it does a couple things. Why is the scope of the possibilities of where life could exist in the universe, including perhaps places like Mars or all kinds of other places like there. Now, that is unbelievably exciting. This is something that I know people are going to talk about, and I know you guys want to hear from us ASAP. And I want to know what you think about this, what do you think that this means, what does this mean for the possibility of life on other planets, we're talking about aliens, extraterrestrials, whatever, what does this mean about the Earth, about how we evolved, how does, how does that all play into it? Does this affect your view on evolution, does this affect your view on religion, uh, and that whole debate. This opens up if it turns out to all pan out, a lot of different things, and I want to know what you think about it. So you give me the comments below, subscribe above, if you like this video, click on like. I'm John D. Villarreal, and you're watching Conservative New Media.